It all started after my aunt passed away. It feels so long ago now. For whatever reason, she left me what was in her attic. I assumed it was some useless junk, and she just didn't want me to feel left out. Her old TV. It was on? Electricity hadn't been running through the house for weeks. Maybe it was battery powered or there was a generator I didn't know about. Either way, I spotted some kind of VHS tape. I hadn't seen one of those since I was real little. I couldn't help but be curious. That was my first mistake. What I saw, what was on that tape, I couldn't unsee. To cut the apples, we need this sharp knife. Do you have a sharp knife? No? That's okay. We can get one at the store. Then, we can all have fun with the knives. The show gave people the creeps, and I understand why. It felt like she was talking right to me. Uh, Amanda, I don't think we should be using that. Uh, we should get a trusted adult to help us. What about your parents? I don't know where they are right now. Then, out of nowhere, the TV totally glitched out. There must have been something wrong with the tape. The next scene had them at a butcher shop. Seems like an odd place to show kids, right? We're going to cook dinner tonight. What kind of meat should we get from Mr. Butcher? What the? I thought it was just a tape, but apparently it was interactive. So I answered. That's not quite right. That's not what I want. I was seriously getting freaked out. To satisfy my morbid curiosity, I answered. That's funny. I don't think they have that here. <sighs> I'd run out of guesses at that point. I tried to enter my answer, but something went wrong. That's right. We're going to get lamb. What? The lamb? But that's... But, but I'm... <laughs> don't worry, Wooly. You don't count. You're not like them. That was it for me. I had to leave. I just couldn't keep watching. There was something seriously wrong, either with the tape or that creepy TV. Who knows? It didn't matter though. It was time for me to go. Something called me back a few days later though. I could sense something had changed. What the? How did these get here? Despite my instinct, I decided to pop in another tape. This tape showed a different place. Like a town or something. It's my friend's birthday. I have to send her something nice. Do you know where I can get something to send to my friend? I didn't know how to answer. Where, where can, can I, I get, get something to send to my friend? That's right. That one seemed obvious. For some reason, I started to get afraid of making her mad. Which of these should I send to my friend? How was I supposed to know what her friend liked? I figured since it was her birthday, cake. Uh-uh, I can't give her that. Then it has to be cupcakes. How am I supposed to send my friend that? Right, it's going in the mail. I'll choose. Oops. Is this a joke to you? Uh, Amanda, calm down. Shut up! What the? Then I heard something, not in the game, but behind me. What should I send my friend? These are perfect. Look, a petting zoo. I want to see the sheep. Can you help us find the sheep? It seems like the only way to move forward is to do what she wants me to do. But what if I don't? I had to see what happened if I disobeyed her. I want to see the sheep. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Amanda, I feel weird. Bah! Looks like Wooly wants to hang out with his sheep friends. Go on, Wooly. Bah! It seems like if you go against what she wants, she has the power to distort the world. Hopefully just her world. Are you paying attention to me? There's nothing there. Stop doing that. Listen to me and quit messing around! Little kitty is all alone. Will you help the kitty? You don't want to help the kitty? That's not very nice. But if you say so, don't worry. 
The kitty isn't alone anymore. Nope. I can't do this anymore. And then, Amanda disappeared. It was just me and the sheep, Wooly. Hey, you. You gotta help me. I don't know what's wrong with her, but you gotta stop now before... Wooly, she's right behind you! Oh no! Wooly had an accident. Quick, where should we take him? That's right. Oh, thank God. Eject, but the tape won't come out. Instead, it forced me to watch another episode. Picnic time! Yeah, picnic time. Phew, what is that smell? What should we have to eat? I saw the rotting sandwich, and I wondered, maybe I could stop it all. Maybe if I... If you say so. Open <laughs> up. Uh-oh. Silly little fox. He's dead. This is awful. This was seriously messed up. How do you think he died? Before I could even choose an answer. That's right. He walked right into the big ugly bear trap. Stupid fox. Doesn't he look so silly with his tongue out? Amanda, we should walk away. I don't want to be around that anymore, and it stinks here, just like the sandwich. That's because he's rotting. When things die, they rot. Everything dies, and everything rots. Eventually... Amanda, nothing is rotting here. Stop that. Everything is rotting, Wooly. Including you. That was my final straw. I had to get away. I had a sneaking feeling this wasn't just a tape. It was too real. I was in danger, and I had to stop it. But the tape was stuck, and Amanda kept going. Sometimes, I can feel myself rotting inside. Must... And this, now! <sighs> okay, it's over. It's okay. I have to destroy this. I have to. Maybe if I use that, I can... maybe... It's... Uh, too heavy! Aha! That's right! Get back in there, you freak! I gotta get rid of this thing. I'm never touching that again. And no one else will, either. Just hold still. I'm not going to hurt you. Amanda, please, you don't have to do this. Silly Wooly, you're sick, and I'm going to help you. Call me Dr. Amanda. Amanda, we both know you're too young to have gone to medical school. What should we use to help Wooly? The saw, the forceps, or the hammer? How did we get here? I know Amanda has little tantrums, but I didn't think she'd try to kill me even though our relationship hasn't always been great. I noticed her changing when we were in the kitchen that one day. Amanda was a bit weird sometimes, but aren't we all? And besides, friendship is about taking the good with the bad. Today, we're going to make apple pie. Do you like apples? I'm allergic to apples, but I like peach pie though. Don't be silly, Wooly. It's always good to try new things. Uh, it's not a new thing. I, I know I have an apple allergy. Maybe you grew out of it. I outgrew my shoes just last week. That's different. We can cut the apples using this sharp knife. Amanda, be careful with that thing. Arg! I'm a pirate. It's fun to play make-believe. Use your imagination. What can you do with a knife? M make a pie. We're, we're supposed to be making a pie. Wooly's right. Oh, remember to use oven mitts, Amanda. Wait, how is that already done? The magic of friendship, silly. <laughs> Wooly, you have to taste test it. I told you I'm... 
ugly kick. <coughs> uh oh, I guess he really was allergic. Wooly, why would you eat something you're allergic to? <coughs> you made me. <coughs> Remember, kids, never give in to peer pressure. I had no idea why she suddenly was going out of her way to hurt me. And it didn't stop there. She invited me to a picnic. I thought it was going to be a nice day out with my friend, but things were getting weird. For some reason, she packed this disgusting, rotting sandwich. Oh, Amanda, why did you pack that? Don't be grossed out, Wooly. Everything gets old. You'll get old too. And then you'll die. I was really getting creeped out. Then, as we were just having a nice little walk... Ow! Wooly, you fell! I knew she pushed me, but I was scared of what would happen if I brought it up. I'm okay, I... Ah! Don't be scared. It's just a silly little fox. Uh, Amanda, I, I, I think it's... Dead! That's called the circle of life. Everything dies eventually, and everything rots eventually. Just like that sandwich and this silly dead fox. She was talking so much about death and rotting, it, it made me start wondering if I was going to rot because of her. So I tried to do something about it. Everyone, you have to help. Amanda's going. I can only assume what happened next. I didn't fall this time. It wasn't my fault. She did this to me. Oh no, Wooly had an accident. He hurt his leg. Uh, I didn't. Where do we go when someone gets hurt? That's right, the doctor. Wait, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, don't take me. I talked to the doctor. She definitely did not talk to the doctor. He says you have a problem in your brain. In my brain? But I hurt my leg. Everything is connected to your brain. Silly wooly. Drink this. It'll fix it. I knew she was planning something. So I refused. Uh, can I talk to the doctor myself? <laughs> and that's all I remember before I woke up. What should we use to help Wooly? The saw, the forceps, or the hammer? That's right, we'll use all three. I like the saw first. Amanda, no, please Amanda. No, we're friends, we're best friends. I wouldn't hurt you. Why are you trying to hurt me? That's not what friends do. Don't you know what a friend is? What is a friend? Ah! Amanda, what are you doing? You're helping me. Wooly, I don't have much time before he comes back. It? What is it? The thing that's been making me hurt you. There's this thing inside my brain. A demon. I'm allergic to apples. I like peach pie. It can take control of me. What I do, what I say, Get away from me! Silly Wooly, it's always good to try new things. When I fed you that pie, the demon made me. No, stop! You're hurting him! Or when we were at that picnic. As we were walking, the demon was having me lead you into the bear trap. At the last minute, I managed to take control. You fell! I'm sorry I had to push you, but I think a little bruise on your knee is better than getting caught in a bear trap. I tried to tell you what happened, but the voice that came out of me wasn't mine. Everything dies eventually, and everything rots eventually, just like the sandwich and this silly dead fox. Sometimes, I can feel myself rotting, and you'll rot too. I knew I was scaring you, but I couldn't stop the demon. I wasn't strong enough, and then we went to the park. Everyone, you have to help. Thank you, Wooly. We'll need as much help as we can get. Ah! No, don't hurt him. I tried, but I couldn't stop it. I'm so sorry, Wooly. I tried to make up for it. We need to get him to the doctor. But I just made things worse. Please, stop. What are you doing? No! And now you're stuck here, all because of me. Amanda, I had no idea. I'm sorry I thought you were evil. That's not what a good friend does. Neither of us were good friends, Wooly. It's okay. 
We gotta get out of here. Before it's too late. Well, now it's too late. Amanda, you can defeat this thing. I know it. Do you remember the petting zoo? What is a family? A family is made up of people who love you. You don't have to be related to someone for them to be your family. While I was trapped with the other sheep, I realized you're my family, not them. We may not be related, but of course, with some recent exceptions, you always loved me more than anyone else. Please, Amanda, come back. You have to stop it. Good luck with that, you stupid animal. I can't defeat it myself. You cannot defeat me no matter what. Amanda, is that you? Wooly, hit me with the hammer. Knock the demon out of me. Wooly, thank you so much. I owe you my life. I know I said and did terrible things. It's okay. I know that wasn't you. I love you, Wooly. You really are my family. Amanda, please! You don't have to do this! I know this isn't the real you! Do you know how to get to the brain? It's pretty easy. Anybody can do it. You just need a hammer and a sharp thing. You go right through the nose and... Amanda, you can't teach them how to do a lobotomy. Aw, maybe next time we'll have to find another way to get to Wooly's brain. Should we try the saw? No. The drill. Yikes. Or the jumper cables. The what? Jumper cables can transfer electricity from one end to another. I guess it's better than the saw, but please, stop! Let me go! I don't want to be electrocuted. Wooly will feel better after his brain gets out. It's scientifically proven. Electricity is fun. Wait, Amanda, no! Please, no! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Great job, Wooly. How do you feel now? I... <sighs> What? Hmm, looks like it didn't work. Let's try more. Ah! Hmm, I don't think that's enough either. It's enough. It's enough. Let's try one more. Third time's the charm. To you. What happened to me? Look at you! Oh my goodness, it's like we switched places! Wooly, this is bad! Why? I feel totally. The demon, it's in you now! Don't you feel different? Actually, no. I, I feel, feel amazing. amazing. Wooly, I don't think this is good for you. No, no I, I feel, feel fine. fine. I, I really, really do. do. You, you know, know what? what? I think, I think we, we should, should go, go on, on an, an adventure. adventure. What do you say, gang? Should we shake it up a bit? I can be... Wooly the Wanderer. And Amanda is my trusty animal sidekick. Yay! Let's, Let's go. go. But, Wooly, I think we need to figure this out before... Hey! This is my kitchen! You're right, Amanda. Thanks for letting us borrow it. Sharing is caring. But you didn't even ask me first. Never borrow someone's things without permission. As long as you give things back, you can take whatever you want. No, that's not... No, she's gone. We're gonna do our usual routine. Making a pie! Can you help me pick out our ingredients? I... I guess... If that's what I have to do... Where do you think our ingredients are? The cupboard or the fridge? Not in here. <laughs> Silly, Amanda. But you told me to. Where are the ingredients? Why not check in there? Go ahead and reach inside for the ingredients. Okay, if you say so. Oh, you burned me! Wooly, did you turn it on while I was in there? Oopsies. I was just trying to demonstrate oven safety. 
Next time, make sure the oven is all the way off before you look inside, Amanda. It wasn't my fault. Excuses, excuses. Well, looks like our ingredients aren't here. Let's go buy, buy them. them. Where should we get our ingredients from? The grocery store. Huh? Not the grocery store, Amanda. Use your head. Well, I... Oh, can we stop at the post office? I have a letter I need to mail my friend. Your friend? Yes. Silly Amanda. I'm, I'm your, your only friend. friend. I am your only friend, friend forever. forever. Uh, okay. I'll just drop it in the slot. I'm confused. There's only one shop left now. Can you guess what our secret ingredient is? Uh, fruit? Nope. Chocolate? Nope. W what We're making a meat pie. And you know where to go for that? No. What kind of meat should we get? I don't like meat pie. I ask you what you like, you stupid little rat. Wait, no, you can't. Actually, you're right. I think we want our meat to be as fresh as possible. And I know just where to go. Meh, meh, meh. It's important to know where your food comes from, kids. You want to make sure your meat is happy before the farmers cut them into juicy lamb, lamb chops. Meh, meh, meh. Amanda, you're going to want to eat up. I need lots, lots of meat. meat. Meh. Don't forget your protein, kids. Let's go track down some vegetables so we can have a balanced, balanced meal. You have to meh. Take out this tape. Something's gone wrong. Something bad is going to happen. Meh. I would know. The demon is going to take over Wooly, just like me. And that is going to back. Oh no! Looks like Amanda here got a little boo-boo. Take out the tape. You have to listen to me. The demon... Shh! Don't waste your energy talking when you're so hurt. Quick, we need to get Amanda to the hospital before it's too late. Hmm, your bones are all messed up. I wonder how that happened. You hit me with the shovel! Tisk, tisk, Amanda. No one likes a tattler. Looks like we're gonna have to patch that up. If we don't, you're never gonna get any better. We gotta get Amanda into surgery fast! Bring the laughing gas! <laughs> no! Get that away from me! Oh, it's not for you! It's, it's for, for me! me. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Wooly, I know you don't mean this! Why? I'm just trying to help save your life. You do the same for me. Don't worry, this, this won't hurt a bit. Ah! Look, Wooly, I know you're only doing this because the demon is making you. It's not who you are! Oh, really? How do you know that? How do you know this isn't just payback for, for all, all the, the times you've, you've done, done things, things like this, this to me? The demon was making me do those too. I know you don't want to be possessed. Maybe, Maybe I, I do. do. I, I love my new power. power. I, I love being, being strong, strong like, like you were. And I love you, Wooly. I, 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 what am I doing here? I love you too, Amanda. I, I have to, I have to set you free. Wooly. You idiots! I have given you great power! Do not throw it away! Take revenge on this girl! No! I must fight you off! Let Wooly go! <laughs> Foolish girl! There's nothing you can do to stop me! Actually, I know exactly what I have to do. Wooly, I'm sorry I have to do this. It's okay, Amanda! Why won't it leave? Because it needs somewhere else to go. Wooly, it's my fate. But, but, I love this real you. I'm so sorry for everything I did. I'm sorry, too, for everything I did and for everything I'm going to do.
You did it! We're back! I... did it. Maybe now, things will be different. Maybe... It's dark out. We should go home. Can you spell home? H-O-M-E... Uh... I don't think I want to watch this anymore. This is weird. Here we are. Let's go inside. Wait a minute. <gasps> that looks like my house! Is someone there? Can you knock on the door? I want to go inside. No. I said... I, I want, want to, to go, go inside. inside. I'm knocking. That's not possible. The door's opening. Oh my god! Let me in. Wait. Hang on. What's going on here? Where am I? Hi! Ah! I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. And I love apples. Do you like apples? Oh, uh, are you talking to me? Uh, sure. I like apples, okay? I'm allergic to apples. That's okay. You should never be afraid to try new things. Hey, I don't want to butt in, but that's probably bad advice for someone with an allergy, don't you think? But we don't even know where the store is. Do you know where the store is? I mean, it's right there, right? Like, not even 20 feet away from us? Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Uh, okay. We're at the store. It sure looks crowded. Bah. Uh, no, it's not. In fact, it looks totally empty. We're the only ones here. Hey, uh, Wooly, you okay, bud? You seem a little nervous. I can't. And look, there are apples. Can you say apple? Huh? Why? Say, say apple. Apple. A-P-P-L-E. Good job. Now we can make apple pie. Whoa! What is this? Episode 2? It's you. Quick, we don't have much time. What's going on? This place, the whole show, it's not what it seems. Amanda isn't who you think she is. She and I used to be... Hi, everyone! Wait! What just happened? I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. <laughs> Yeah, I know that already. Now, what the heck is going on? Wooly, is everything okay? Today, we're going to get meat for Grandma. But isn't Grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell me where the butcher is? No, not until I get some answers. Wooly, you were just saying something a moment ago about this place. A are we safe here? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Tell us where the butcher is. Let's go. Hello, meat man. Oh, gross. You people leave the eyes in? Can you tell the meat man what we need? Yeah, I don't want to do that. No. Can you tell the meat man what we need? Kid, this is crazy. Your friend is a lamb and you want me to go to the butcher and... Is meat! M E A T! Thanks! Here we are in the woods! That's where the map said the treasure would be! Wooly! Are, are you okay? Did she do something to you? Wooly? What? Oh, hi. We just need to find the treasure or whatever. That's right! And the GPS told us that X marks the spot. 
Can you see where X is? Look, I I'm not going to help you anymore. Something about this entire show feels off. Can you see where X is? The one I'm pointing to? Uh, fine. Uh, that one. There. There it is. Treasure awaits. But how are we supposed to get at it under all the dirt? Bah. Luckily, I brought some tools to help us with our adventure. I brought a crowbar, some rope, and a shovel. Which should I use? Hold on. What exactly are we doing here? What's really buried in the dirt? Pick a tool. Okay, that's enough. Bah. I can't take this anymore. I don't care what you do to me. You, take this tape out now and burn them. Burn them all. Destroy all the tapes. Do you hear me? Hello? Do you have the tapes? The tapes? Who is this? Are you the person who sent me these? Because I do not want them. You need to destroy them now. Fine, I will, but you gotta start giving me some answers here. What is Amanda the Adventurer? Who are they? <sighs> okay, I'll tell you. We're not 100% sure, but we think they were the first victims to be taken by whatever evil entity is inside those tapes. Somehow they were dragged into the TV directly and trapped there for years. The entity mutated them, twisted their forms into the characters you now know as Amanda and Wooly. The entity uses the show as a way to find more victims, eventually breaking out of their world and into ours. All the happy little dancing trees and buildings are more of Amanda's victims. Amanda has completely succumbed to the darkness inside her, but there's still a human part of Wooly left. He might still be able to be saved. Oh my god! I'm gonna destroy the three tapes right now! There's four tapes. Four tapes? But I thought I only had three in my box. Where's the fourth? Can you spell home? There you are! Where's Wooly? What have you done to him? No. Can you spell home? H-O-M-E! Now tell me what happened to Wooly! Wait a minute. This is my house. How are you at my house? Let's knock and go inside. Let me in! Ah! Oh, oh, I gotta turn it off! Ah, eject! Eject! Hurry up, hurry up! Phew. 